right. Well, good afternoon. Uh, this could have been the week that uh, catastrophic, catastrophic default, default happened, putting millions of people's jobs in jeopardy. But uh, instead, we prevented the default, and uh, our historic recovery continues. And, uh, you know, uh, through a bipartisan uh, agreement here, we proved once again American democracy can function. And I think it's impossible for it to be able to function unless you can have compromise and consensus. And we got a lot of that done. We got another piece of good news on Friday. We learned that our economy produced 339,000 jobs last month. <coughs> That's up to 13.1 million jobs since we came to office. And today, I'm here with my Cabinet continuing to focus on getting uh, the job done for the American people and continuing to invest in America. Invest in America is more than just a slogan. We're investing in the American people, in our infrastructure, our manufacturing. We're investing in jobs in every, almost every community across the country. And for the first time in a long time, America is actually investing in itself, and it's beginning to pay off. Today, we're going to discuss the progress we're making investing in America and the steps each agency around the table here has taken to build a pro on that progress and finish the job, because we're not finished yet. We've got more to do. We'll also uh, review the bipartisan agreement signed last uh, — I guess I signed it last Saturday, I think it was um, — to reduce the deficit by nearly $1 trillion. On top of the $1.7 trillion we already reduced in the first two years of, of our administration. And, uh, and after my predecessor, the last guy to sit in this chair, um, he uh, actually increased the, the, uh, the national debt by uh, Eight trillion dollars in four years, and the agreement. This our agreement protects Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, Veterans Care, and it protects like, the economic progress, like the 470 billion dollars that private investment we've attracted to the United States and in the United States in manufacturing, clean energy, and our historic investments in to fight climate change. And it also protects the progress we made in lowering costs for insulin and other prescription drugs uh, and and home energy bills as well. Our administration, led by the folks in this room, is focused on implementing the laws we passed and continuing to invest in America. And we're focused on securing our border, combating climate crisis, and protecting the fundamental rights of Americans. And one more thing. Just today, we launched a new website. It's called invest.gov. You can go online and find the projects we're delivering on, both the public and private. There's 32,000 investment projects and billions of dollars in private sector projects that our communities all across America are already beginning to experience. And we've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to ask Natalie quickly to explain while you're all here how it works. We don't have the ability — it's not a — we don't have a laptop type of arrangement here. We just can show you. She'll explain the rest of what's going on. <laughs> Nat? I think you explained it quite well. This shows all of the inve infrastructure investments on this map. And then if you've toggled over, you can see all the private sector investments as well. And then you can go by your state and find what's happening in your community. You can go by — you can go down to every city, town, anywhere on the map and find out exactly how much has been invested so far, what the investment is for, and how it's going to affect your community. And so people will know. You can check it out and what's going on. So anyway, thank you all for making the effort to come in. and. I'll see you in a little bit. We're not leaving. We are not leaving. We're going to help Ukraine. It's coming. I plan on being with you here.